it's a totally different feeling when you're actually told a story of a war. So this is my own story of how I escaped the Russia and Ukraine war and my experience from escaping to my final destination. welcome again to my youtube channel if you are just a first time if this is your first time here welcome and if you are returning thank you for coming back so today by the title of the video i'm just going to say i'm just going to be saying my own story as a student that fled the ukraine war the russian ukraine war so let's just start <laughs> so basically before the whole chaos and everything i we already heard that Russia were they were sending in their troops into Ukraine, but we didn't really like take it seriously. We we're like, okay, they're going to take it back, but they didn't take it back. And at the point, we heard that they already take, started taking it back, but they didn't take it back. <laughs> so, or maybe they took the took it back. I don't really know, but sure. On a Thursday, twenty fourth of February, two thousand and twenty two, a day I'll never forget in my life. Like you remember those days in primary school, they would tell us, right? The day you never forget in your life. That's not the days I'll never forget in my life. Like it was just an epic experience. We, I was on my bed trying to sleep because I had a very serious class that day. Like if you studied in my university or if you like, you just know. You just know if somebody's telling you I, I'm about to have a past physiology class, like it's just amazing. <laughs> so I had to just like take have some rest and prepare to go to the class. But as I was preparing to get to, to go to the class, I heard my roommates start to like scream and shout Jesus. Not like shout, like as in shout, shout, shout. But you could hear her voice, obviously. And I wasn't really like I wasn't really like into my sleep like that, so I could hear her voice. So I had to just ask her, even though before then I didn't really want to like turn and act. I just wanted to behave as if I didn't hear her. But she just kept on. I had to just ask her what was going on or what was going on. And I asked her, and she told me that she didn't. She just told me Ki um, Kiev has been bombed. I she now showed me her food and on Twitter I saw that they're already sending missiles into Ukraine. So I I didn't know what to like I didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to do. All of us in the room just started Oh I where were we pointing? I don't know we didn't know what to do but obviously at the point you obviously you shout you lament you ask so oh, why why now why is this happening this and that obviously start asking why did you go home on time because as i said before that we heard news that they were already sending troops into ukraine people already started booking their flights at that moment but we are, we us we just thought nothing is going to happen nothing serious is happening so and yeah so at that moment we obviously had to start looking for it, for plans to go to the next country or the neighboring country and poland was the closest country to my own city and they had borders that you could go through so we packed our bags and before then we have something called nigerian State union and our president had gone obviously ahead of us to look for the safest or tell us the experience on what to expect when you start coming so we obviously started going um on the next the next day we um boarded a taxi i was inside the cliff this is how i looked this is how i looked when i was escaping yes when we were escaping <laughs> ukraine and russia <laughs> we were heading to the border now actually no we are heading to the border that they said that we have to walk how many hours her oh, life record i just walking now our driver just dropped us in the middle of nowhere literally nowhere so we are walking out to a destination we don't even know how far how long everything but yeah thank god 
my journey documentation Woo! so we bought a taxi and we started going and um the tax will not take you straight to the border by the way he will, he will stop you where because as people are walking to their pile of cars well that's it that's a pile cars are also on queue waiting also to reach the border so the, the tax will stop you the last car basically that's where he can stop you because him is not ready to stay there with you so you just drop you and you pay him and he will start going and taxes were expensive they were expensive they were always booked out so just a lot so we stay working and we walked for hours when i mean hours we walked for hours and we when we reached there because i think i won't i won't say we reached the border but i don't know if we i don't think we reached the border but we reached where somewhere we saw nigerians where they were and we asked them what happened why are we here and they told us that oh, they're, not, they're not allowing people on foot to cross over to this border there's another border we were meant to go through and we took the wrong border so we had to just or just to go back home or look for somewhere to stay because we stayed there we actually stayed there thinking or hoping that they were just going to ask, allow us to pass through there but they, they never did they never did so we had to obviously start going back home or look for somewhere else to stay so we looked for a motel we didn't see we didn't see as well obviously going back now mind you is the, the same hour like the same amount of hours you walked up to that place that you're going to take back because there's no taxi there to take you back nothing so as we are walking we we're not obviously begging cars to stop and pick us or anybody that can um accept to pick any of us so that's what we we're doing and it was already cold like that time of the year is very cold it was cold and you know as the as like as it gets to the nice time of the day it gets colder so it was becoming colder plus the box they are carrying the middle of nowhere and your parents are calling you obviously my mom was even crying a lot of things were just going on at that moment and my legs were really hurting me so we are just calling that and you you not blame those people because you cannot just pick anybody you see on the road stranger like people are trying to save their lives <laughs> so amongst let me say 10 cars you will just see maybe one that will allow sorry you only see maybe just one or two amongst 10 cars so we're just that's what we're doing until it was just we we're reducing in numbers we we're reducing in numbers and then a big bus came and i think i was the one that flagged that one down or called like asked the man to stop or begged him to stop so we then he it was they were very nice you could just see that it was just the hand of god like it was really amazing and they helped us carry our bags inside the inside the bus we entered and we stayed going back to the to our city and i think that time it was around seven and it gets dark on time so it's really so it's really like dark when i mean dark i mean dark so i we then said going back so he dropped us to a point in our city and then we had to just start walking back from there to our hostel it was a lot like it was a lot like you don't want to be in that situation i promise you it was a lot so when we got to back home every every one of us we were tired our legs were pain paining us we were just a lot like a lot of things were going through our mind so obviously we rested on that day then the next day being saturday other people were just there going again and i'm like we have to obviously we i told my friends like not like everybody like amongst my friends group and people that are close to me we plan that we're just going to obviously plan and look for the next thing and the best route to go to because you don't want to go through that same route that you went through or go through that whole experience you went through the other day because you didn't plan enough to move towards this whole journey so we planned on saturday we are just going to plan cook buy food everything like just be prepared for the next day then on sunday because there is this other border that everybody is going through and there have been people that have passed through but it's just that you have to stay there for days before you'll be able to cross through the border but we already 
like if that's the only thing we can do there is no other way let's just follow through that one other borders you can go through them but i think they said you have to move through the car or you have to maybe go through because there are actually other routes either you take a train or you go through this route i'm taking but like the train one because we're like in a, like a family wanted to go together and the train had a lot of things that came with it so we decided to take the other option and as i said before since poland was the closest country to my city the, that was the closest one we could do the other option we also had was to travel to another city and then take the other border to maybe hungary or slovakia but we decided to take to take to poland so we decided that if that was only border that we're going to take it just bought food took enough clothes that in case the rain falls and it soaks your clothes you just remove your clothes and change some other some other thing if it was so you maybe get a blanket and cover it like because it was just there is no obviously shelter there it's just an open place that a lot of things can do oh all right so we we were planning to obviously see if we could go through there then one of my friend's friend told us that he has passed or he's about to get his passport stamped through another border that is we didn't we, we, we didn't even hear about i think we heard about it but nobody was really like here like we didn't really get like enough information about it so uh, we had to get obviously counsel and know what to do so our pastor called us and told us that we should go through that border that our friend's friend told us this is why you need a counsel and a direction like god's hand on your life because if our pastor pastor david okay i love you so much sir if he didn't actually direct us you like would have just gone through that one and would have faced a lot of things that people were going through so we went through that other border and um obviously we took the taxi they dropped us he dropped us and we had to start working so when we started working, obviously, we only pre we're only prepared to work. So we're like, okay, like we actually did not talk, we didn't think we were going to work that that long. We just thought, okay, maybe this border is 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 less populated and is easier. When you told us that we have to work, I was like, huh? But that was the only thing I had to do. So we just had to work and still working i see my I was wearing socks on my hand <laughs> with big sweaters because it was cold so we still working and we we kept on working and working and working till we reached a point that we saw a bus that takes only females like girls children and pregnant women and they told the boys they told that they have to walk to the border by themselves so the boys had to work and I mean, sorry, the boys had to walk and we had to, we, us, the females, we entered the bus. And if you're a boy that is less than 18, you can also enter the bus. But if you are more than 18, you have to walk to the border because the bus takes only, as I said before. So the bus then took us to the border and we walked up to the place that if you see this queue, if you see this queue, I think I, I, I videoed that because it was snowing at the point, so I videoed that moment. I have a cold thing. I have See the queue, eh? very long queue. So we stood there, I think we, we reached there around 1 or 2 and we stayed there. We were able to cross over successfully to, to the border, like Poland border, by 12 midnight. So a lot of things obviously went in between this my story but i don't want it to be so long and i believe that people that have asked me questions about this my experience if you watch this video they'll get to know and this video is getting long i don't want it to be too long so i'm going to stop here for now there will be a part two of this video where i talk about our experience in poland what we like how we obviously how did we enter poland what happened after then how did i how am i how am i in nigeria now how are other people in other cities and other countries now so that would be like the other part of the video so please watch out for that video and if you watched this point oh i love you so much thank you 
for sticking to the point of this video and also i want to also tell you if you have not subscribed please subscribe just press it like this please <laughs> because based on my last video i i saw that not many people subscribe but they actually watched it so please let's at least like reach a certain amount in this area all right so i'll wait for you to subscribe thank you <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video bye bye <laughs> Thank you.